In this video, we're gonna tell you what happens seven and a half minutes after drinking one of those naughty. We are Dan and Mike, and this is Five Minute Fitness, where we try to cram in as much nutrition and training information into tight, just five minutes tight, as possible. You like it tight, don't you? You've you never like had to tight. cram anything in, though. I'm, mate, it's like throwing a hot dog down a corridor. Please do hit subscribe if you like this sort of stuff. We do loads of vlogs, behind the scenes videos, and food challenges, these are food challenges. So if you like that sort of stuff, hit subscribe. Let's get into this video. So artificial sweeteners, it's one of our favorite topics. The amount of bullshit you hear about artificial sweeteners from those people in the offices at work, do you know what I mean? It's like, oh, still going, though. You can't drink, that's poison. And that drinking that, the full fat version is better. Oh, I wouldn't drink that. Full fat? Oh, I wouldn't drink that. No, oh, I wouldn't drink you, that. You drink all that with all that shit in for? What shit? Well, hang on, so what you, shit? But, but you would drink a bottle of wine tonight. Bottle of wine, mm. you'll have chocolates, you'll have a fucking cake, cake, cake from Costa. Wouldn't drink diet cake. Oh, I don't know, it's uh, got a shit in it. What do you mean? Shit in it. The amount of people as well, the like, amount of drugs they probably take as well, like, oh, it's a load of shit, wouldn't have that. Mm. Can't have that. It's mm. when people go, it's got chemicals in it though. It's like, what do you mean? Mm. What do you mean? But you go, well, what do you, well, what's bad about it? And they go, you know. It's just artificial. You know. Artificial. Well, you know, Caveman didn't do it, right? And There's fucking lots of things they didn't fucking didn't do. Drive cars. Did, didn't drive car. Didn't fucking shower. <laughs> doesn't mean that it's wrong to do it now, does <laughs> it? Didn't live beyond the age of thirty, most of them. Yeah, exactly. So it doesn't it doesn't make really any good. sense when caveman didn't do it. The amount of myths you hear about artificial sweeteners is it is uh, one of the ones that I Within hate the most. Five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Consume yeah. Diet Everyone's power. seen that infographic, haven't they? Your <laughs> your insulin spikes and doesn't through the roof. No, it doesn't. No, yeah. it doesn't. no, it actually doesn't. No, 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 it doesn't. Your body knows when it has sugar in it and when it doesn't. Within and seven doesn't. minutes, you'll have a stroke. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. It's all sinister as fuck, innit? It's, it's, it's ridiculous. ridiculous. So basically, they, all these myths have come about from one study where they injected yeah. artificial sweeteners into a rat's brain right. and it developed lymphoma, I think it was. Yeah, like and it, it was, was like, I think it was the equivalent of 18 litres. You'd have to drink 18 litres of Diet Coke. Oh, no, in a wanna. Inject it into your brain. Oh, inject it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's how I like my Diet Coke. Yeah, yeah. You want a kind of Diet Coke? Nah. Syringe to the head, please. Yeah, it's like the sweet, the artificial sweeteners that are in these things get broken down into three very natural compounds that your body can process quite easily. There's nothing sinister about them. And it's all brought about by people who just don't have a fucking clue about nutrition. They don't have a clue about science or chemicals for that matter. Yet they go all chemicals in that. Yeah. There's chemicals in water, mate. So I, ju I just find that it gives me. What? I just find it gives me more cravings. Though. Yeah. I just find. That's just no, you don't. It's because you're hungry. You, you're dieting. If you're having a diet drink, right? The chances are you're probably dieting, so you're not mm, eating less maybe. food. Yeah. You yeah. are gonna be fucking hungry. Yeah. You are gonna crave oh, because you're fucking dieting. It's like nothing it, to do with the fact that you're having a diet coke. Yeah. If anything, it might cure a sweet craving or a sweet pang. It yeah. might bloat you a little bit with a fizz, make you less hungry. Really? If you're craving, that's just because you're fucking craving because you're dieting. It's also because you used to eat loads of shit and now exactly. you don't. Exactly. So it's probably that. Honestly, one of the biggest myths in our industry that just will not die. So please, please share this with someone who needs to see this, needs to understand that all the myths around it just don't exist. Like they're all just bullshit. They are perfectly safe to consume yeah. alongside a decent diet, high in protein, low in calories. Yes, you might be a bit hungry. Yes, you might get cravings for sugar. That's because you're dieting. You need to lose weight. The way that people go on, it's like you're having to book yourself in for chemotherapy if you buy a six pack of Diet Coke. Oh God, it's gonna give you cancer. No, it's, it's not. not. It's gonna it's give not. you cancer. Drinking ridiculous amounts of alcohol and smoking packets of cigarettes a day is probably yeah. gonna give you cancer. Not a can of Diet fucking Coke. Mm. Get real. Which you're going to be using, by the way, to lose weight, <laughs> which is going to make you healthier. Right. Just by the, the, the default setting of losing weight will make you healthier, you will see health markers improve across the board just by losing weight. Give that a go, shall we? Mm. Yeah. Do that one. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you like that style of video, please don't forget to hit subscribe, smash that like button, leave us a little comment, like I said, with a smash video you want to see us cover. Until next time, this has been 5 Minute Fitness.